Hello, graduates of 2020. The day has arrived. Welcome to graduation. Congratulations on everything that you've accomplished these past few years at Boise State University. You're a special, unique group of people, and you're getting a special and unique ceremony. This class is brilliant, innovative, resilient, and passionate, and I know you will do great things. None of us expected your last semester at Boise State to be like this, but I'm impressed and proud of the way you've risen to the challenge that has been thrown at you and reached your goal of graduation. You came, you persisted, you conquered, and now mission accomplished, your degree is attained. You are all rock stars today. You are uniquely wonderful. I hope you're as proud of yourself as we are of you. We know how much effort and hard work it took for you to reach this point, and we're so, so very proud of you. Now it's time to celebrate your achievements. From the moment you stepped foot on this campus, we knew we were in for something with you, and you've proven us right. The hard work you have put in over your time here at Boise State and the persistence and resilience you've demonstrated to see it through are admirable. Your class and its accomplishments and you are truly and wholly unique for any of our graduating classes coming before and after. You all have fluency and comfort with digital technologies, which is so important right now. Uh, you all have ingenious ways of looking at and solving difficult problems. And most importantly, you all are compassionate and you have positive leadership skills. They say that real leaders are not forged in easy times but they are forged in the most difficult of times. And if that is true, then I am expecting a lot out of you guys. You can help us create a world where every human is valued, their contributions cherished, their lives celebrated. This is a watershed moment that will redefine what it means to be human. Congratulations on this incredible achievement. I know how hard you've worked and today is the day to celebrate. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. Now, no matter where you go in the world, when people ask you where you got your degree, you can say Boise State University. The world is out there. Let's get out there and do good and be good. May you take the hard work, intuition, and integrity you've honed here at Boise State into the world. There'll be jobs and graduate school and other things, moves and changes, and it's gonna be awesome. We are so proud of you. Please always know we are your biggest cheerleaders. And always know that you're welcome here and you're a Bronco for life. I celebrate and cherish the time we have spent learning together and supporting one another. I wish you all the best as you go from here and make your contribution to the world. We are so proud of you. And we're also super bummed that we're not getting a chance to congratulate you or to say goodbye in person. We hope that you keep in touch with all of us and that you use us as a resource. Once a Bronco, always a Bronco. So please go out, do your own pomp and circumstance, and go out into the world and show them what Broncos can do. Head out knowing that we are with you, we are here for you, and we are proud of you. Go Broncos. Felicidades a todos. Enhorabuena. Happy graduation day. Congratulations, Broncos. Congratulations, Congratulations Broncos. Broncos. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good morning and welcome to the 106th graduation ceremony for Boise State University. This one is like no other in Boise State's history and you are like no other class in Boise State's history. This is truly a tremendous milestone in your lives. Today, we recognize the extraordinary investment you've made in your quest to obtain your degree along with the special significance of arriving here at this world-changing moment. This road has had many twists and turns, some of them like those that no students have ever faced. The last few months have provided challenges that our world has only experienced a few times before in its history. But even before the pandemic, you had to defer the enjoyment of the moment for the long-term goal of getting to this day. 
You made sacrifices, commitments, took on challenges, fed your intellectual curiosity, and displayed true tenacity. You dedicated yourself to the life of expanding your mind. And today, we celebrate you at this marker of your success. We have been reminded over and over in recent weeks that our educational journey is not over. We continue to be challenged and to grow our whole lives. For those who embrace that journey, life is full of wonder even on its most difficult days. We sincerely hope that the foundation of learning that you've acquired here at Boise State has ignited a passion for education and learning that will last your whole lifetime. Your degree has been an incredibly worthwhile investment. Over a third of the jobs available to people who have only high school diplomas have disappeared, and we're only on the front end of that transition. 2020 may seem like a difficult moment to go on the job market, but a nationwide Georgetown report found that there will be 55 million job openings in the economy in 2020, 24 million from newly created jobs, and 31 million due to baby boomer retirements and employers are gonna be looking for what you bring. Cognitive skills such as communication and analytical ability, rather than the physical skills that traditionally defined manufacturing. Your college degree will also be contributing to your success and well-being. A recent study evaluated 1,000 factors impacting social mobility, including variables like your mother's health or your family income. Far and away the most significant factor in your future success and economic well-being was educational attainment. Today, you have moved yourself and your whole family forward with this accomplishment. Graduation is a significant transition. Dane and Perry has described life as a series of trapeze swings. When we release our grip on one bar, but before we've grasped the next, we are in what he calls a transition zone. That time when we're airborne, flying through space without certainty or security of the bar for which we are reaching out. We often try to get through the void in between as quickly and unconsciously as possible, but, Perry writes, I have a sneaking suspicion that the transition zone is the only real thing and that the bars are illusions we dream up to avoid the spaces where real change and real growth occur for us. This is an exciting way to think and another reason to savor this moment, not just commencement, but this challenging moment in our world. It means we don't have to rush past this place until it feels safe, routine, and comfortable again. We can relish the gift of this moment knowing that we have let go of the previous bar and that we're soaring through the air. It is a proud Boise State tradition to honor our graduates who are also active military or veterans and to remember the men and women who are currently serving our country. We traditionally had the chance to applaud their service and recognize our military graduates with red, white, and blue honor cords. Today, we dedicate the performance of the National Anthem to them. And we ask you, friends and family watching, if you're engaging on social media, please share a photo that's a tribute to your military students with the hashtag Boise State Grad. After a moment of silent reflection, please stand if you are able for our National Anthem. Today, it will be performed by Ian Kelly, a vocal performance major and tenor section leader in the Boise State Meister Singers and a proud member of your class of 2020. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, 
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red cleft the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there O oh, saint us that star-spangled banner yet wave. O'er the land of the free and the home of the Class of 2020, it's my sincere honor to welcome you to this one-of-a-kind experience on behalf of the deans and the faculty who you will hear from throughout this special celebration. Commencement ceremonies date back to 12th century medieval Europe, where participants used the opportunity to mark the culmination of a formal course of study. The word graduation comes from the Latin gradus, which means step. Today marks a very important step in your life and for those close to you. No accomplishment this significant happens without the support of others, and this day provides us with an opportunity to thank them. Let us take a moment to commend our faculty, whose efforts guided the graduates to successful completion of their programs of study. You will hear from a number of them today, and you will see a glimmer of the unique relationship that exists between professor and student here at Boise State. The university wishes to express a special thank you to these individuals for their dedicated service to the students, alumni, community, and university. Second, we recognize our remarkable and dedicated staff. They helped you find a place here, advised you, supported you, and now have worked to put on this amazing event. Third, your parents, family members, and friends have invested in your success for years, providing financial, moral, and emotional support. I know you are aware of your debt to them. Many of you graduates have already shared your thank you and gratitude online. In a moment, we will watch a few of those videos. But it's not too late. Please share your shout out on social media using the hashtag Boise State Grad. I'd really like to thank out everyone who helped me. My friends and family, everyone that supported me through the last three years of my life. And to everyone else who has made my time here at Boise State so special. I want to thank my basketball coaches for giving me an opportunity to live out my dream of playing college basketball. But I'd also like to say thank you to everyone who helped me grow from a reluctant freshman to an enthusiastic, proud Boise State alumna. There's so many people I want to shout out. Including Dr. Percola, Dr. Haskell, my parents, anyone else who helped me get through this. I'd like to give a special thank you to my research mentor, Dr. Casey Kennington. Barbara, I love you, darling, and I thank you. This is really our graduation. I also wanted to thank Michael for the countless pints of ice cream and pizza nights when I needed cheering up, the long hours we spent at the library, and for always pushing me to be a better student and to finish strong. And most especially want to thank my kids, Mia and Emerson. Um, I love you guys so much. And to my daughter, who I don't have to tell that I can't play with anymore because I don't have any more homework to do. Woohoo! My fellow classmate and friend, Faith Perez, my advisor, Loretta, and all my professors who've helped me along the way. I thank God for the innumerable blessings he's given me, including my parents, my siblings, my fiance, and dear friends who've made my college experience so special. I would like to thank my family for really being there for me, especially my fiance and my mom and my dad for just really supporting me throughout my entire nursing school. I just want to thank Dr. Krishna Pakala for providing guidance over the years, Dr. Harold Ackler for teaching us how to be professional engineers, and all my professors for developing me into someone deserving of this degree. Quick shout out for my boys, Gabriel and Lane. Especially my mom, my dad, and my sister. I also wanted to give a special shout out to my friend, Sheena Gilbert. And I want to give one more shout out to my sister. My family, my friends, my professors, my coaches, my counselors, and everybody that's helped me get to where I am today. All the family, friends, and staff members who've made this experience just amazing and so much fun. And I just want to say thank you. For your support, 
and love and encouragement to chase after my dreams. I couldn't have done it without you. My dad for helping me um, understand and comprehend mathematics, even though I don't. Thank you to the RN to BSN faculty and staff and to my husband for helping me get through this. It was worth it. It's my family too, my mom, even if he's not here, he's proud of me. Shout out to my mom, my dad, my sisters, and especially my husband who has been there every single day, all of the home cooked meals. I appreciate it so much. And Leandra Abarusa. Dr. Jerry Ellen Fails. My grandparents. My wife and daughter. My children. Italia, Ariel, Belisa, and Garden for all of their support. And my mom and my dad, Terry and Tracy Buster. My mom, my dad, my stepdad, Don, and all the other family that was there to support me. My parents, my sister, Taylor. Shout out to you, Trisha. Love you. Love you all. You guys have always pushed me to be the best that I can be and have always had so much confidence in who I could become. And I wouldn't be here today without you all. Just thank you to everybody. We did it, yeah. I could not be more excited. To all those names that I didn't mention. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. So here's to you and all the other partners that have helped us get where we're at today. But I think now more than ever, it's the most important time to celebrate the cool things that we are doing and to remember that one day all this will be over and we're gonna have one heck of a party when all this is said and done. So thanks again, everyone, and go Broncos. Thank you, guys. Go Broncos. Thank you, and go Broncos. Go Broncos. Go Broncos. Go Broncos. Woo! Congratulations, graduating class of Boise State University 2020. This is an exciting time. It's a strange time, but it's an exciting time nonetheless. My name is Debbie Critchfield, and I'm president of the Idaho State Board of Education and a trustee for the university. On behalf of myself and the other seven members of our board, I wish you the most heartfelt and sincere congratulations for your accomplishments, for your commitment to your goals and your ability to achieve. These characteristics will serve you well for the rest of your life. We hope that you'll use the abilities that you have developed and acquired while you've been at the institution to serve you, to be your best self, and to help you be successful in all that you choose to pursue. BSU is a great institution to claim. It's a great diploma to hang on the wall or wherever you choose to display it. Thanks for your hard work and efforts, and we wish you all the best. Congratulations, Boise State University graduates. I am so proud of you, not only for the hard work that's gotten you to this point, but the way you embrace the challenges and changes of your last semester that none of us could have envisioned or wished upon us. And it's these challenging times and the way you've reacted to them and what we've learned from them, being nimble, agile, asking questions, innovating, changing the way we do things um, for the betterment of all, that'll help you succeed in the next chapter of your life. And I hope that that next chapter includes Boise because we need you to help us recover and to chart the future of this incredibly vibrant place that will be even more resilient and connected because of all we've gone through together. So until then, congratulations. I wish I could be saying this in person and can't wait to welcome you back to your university and your city when we can get together to celebrate. And until then, enjoy, take care, and be well. Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of myself and the Boise State Alumni Association, we'd like to congratulate you and welcome you to the alumni family. Go Broncos. Hello, Broncos. What's happening? Yo, it's Carlos. Hold for applause. Hold for applause. Uh, my character, Chris Morales, goes to your school. So here I am congratulating you guys, class of 2020, and all your accomplishments. Yo, as soon as we get out of here, you guys are gonna kill it. Congratulations on everything you've earned. You did it. I'm personally not wearing any pants right now, but that's besides the matter. I'm just really happy for you guys, and I wish you nothing but the best. All right, we'll see you guys later. Mira, mira, oye, mira, oye. Tan, tan. Se acabó la escuela. A ponerse a trabajar. Hello Broncos, it's me, Flula Borg. Wow, I am so excited to join you for your virtual graduation today, Boise State students. How exciting! You have a tassel, you have a hat. Throw it into the sky very high. Or perhaps 
two feet. If you are indoors, you are probably indoors. So be safe as you toss hats into skies. But in the meantime, celebration, everyone. You have done it. Yes. See you soon, everyone. Bye bye. Go Broncos. Yeah. Hello, Boise State, class of 2020. Congrats on graduating. I know this isn't the ideal set of circumstances, but I'm so impressed with your perseverance and commitment. And just because you can't walk, it doesn't take anything away from what you've accomplished. So enjoy it and uh, have some great times doing socially distant celebrations. Graduating class of 2020, Kellen Moore here. Just want to congratulate you guys on your graduation. Obviously, we're all dealing with some unique circumstances right now. We're doing the graduation virtually. But like you guys, I was fortunate to be able to graduate from Boise State in 2010, 10 years ago. And uh, I'm so thankful for that experience, for the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to achieve at Boise State. And it's something that will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Uh, there is nothing better than to represent and appreciate Boise State as you go your separate ways. You guys are all going to do great things. Congratulations again, and go Broncos. Congratulations, class of 2020. I hope you have an amazing day celebrating with your families. What a major milestone in your lives. Stay positive, stay curious. This whole community is behind you and go Broncos. Congratulations, Boise State graduates of 2020. We are all so proud of you. Lisa Reiner Armstrong here, class of 1982. My advice is to go out and do what Boise State University has prepared you to do make the world a better place. Go Broncos! Hi, I'm Governor Brad Little. To all the graduates, congratulations on arriving at this moment, a moment of celebration, a moment that offers relief and perhaps some trepidation of what's to come. We are certainly celebrating your achievements differently this year. As you go through life, there will be months and years that seem to fly by without notice. But the year 2020 is different. The year 2020 will be a defining year in all our lives because of coronavirus. This global pandemic has brought about much hardship for many people across the world, but it also has brought out the best in people too. I hope the stories of inspiration and determination during this troubling time remain with you as time goes on. My number one goal is to make Idaho the place where our children and grandchildren choose to stay and for the ones who have left to choose to return. You are my target audience. With this rite of passage, you have a passport to go anywhere. If you choose to stay, excellent. If you choose to go elsewhere, remember Idaho. We would love to have you return. There are four traits that all successful people in my life have learned. Hard work, choose wisely, keep learning, and work well with others. The fact that you're here today means you already possess these life skills and no one can take them from you. Continue to sharpen your ability to use them. To the families of our graduates, thank you for providing the support, financial and otherwise, to help these graduates arrive at this moment. The rest of us will benefit from your investment. God bless and congratulations again on a job well done. This is Lisa Sanchez, member of the Boise City Council, graduating class of Boise State University 2007 with my degree in communication. I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate the graduating class of Boise State University 2020. You did it. You managed to complete your education at a time in our human history when the world has come to an apparent standstill. But not you, you finished your education. And not only will you be entering the world with this world-class degree from Boise State, you're also going to be giving the gift of resilience to the world. And so I am so happy for your future employers. I'm so happy for your community because the gifts that you will bring are going to be amazing. So again, congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. I congratulate you and I congratulate your families. Go Broncos. All right, to the class of 2020, you did it. You're here, congratulations. This is head football coach, Brian Harson, And I wanted to take a moment to recognize your accomplishment. What an awesome moment for each and every one of you. One of the most significant moments in your life. One of the greatest milestones you'll ever be a part of is to get that degree. A lot of you took tremendous discipline, 
It took a lot of toughness. It took a lot of belief. And I'm sure a lot of money from your parents to get where you are right now. But nonetheless, congratulations. Enjoy your moment. And when you're done, go out there. Take advantage of this opportunity you've been given. Go chase your dreams. Chase your goals. Go achieve. And like we say in the football program, go attack your future. Congratulations again. We're very proud of you. And as always, go Broncos. graduates, congratulations, but most important, you've all been through something in the last two to three months that nobody anticipated. But what we've learned, and I hope you take it with you in whatever path you follow after this, that working together on something with compassion and concern for each other and your fellow man will be something that influences you for the rest of your life, whatever you do. So again, congratulations. Boise State has long featured a graduating student as the primary speaker for each commencement. And class of 2020, though you're hearing from a great many voices today, that remains our focus. I am honored to present to you your student speaker, Tyler Chapman, who has earned two degrees in his time at Boise State dual bachelor's degrees in information technology management and games, interactive media, and mobile. Tyler came to Boise State from just down the road in Hagerman, Idaho, and he has made the most of his time here. He spent a summer interning with NASA in Houston. He played a key role in Boise State's NASA Suits team, which helped develop augmented reality programming with innovators from other universities. And he joined with some fellow Broncos this year in a very meaningful project, blending his technical skills with his care for our community to develop the Bronco Beam app, which tackles both food insecurity and food waste on campus by sending alerts to students when catered events end up with leftover food. Class of 2020, I present to you your classmate and peer, Tyler Chapman. Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Chapman. I wanna thank you personally for making the rigorous trek to be here today. I know the journey of getting up at 9.55 and making the incredible trip from your bed to your laptop was a tough one. But believe me when I say, we're in this together. Because just like you, when this pre-recording message airs live on May 9th, I too won't be wearing pants. I'd like to kick off this completely new pantsless graduation by showing my gratitude for those who, for some reason, decided it would be a good idea to give me screen time in front of 25,000 Broncos and their families. I'm, I'm guessing this is how that process went. You took a quick look at my application and you were like, wow, he, he worked for NASA and he created Bronco Beam? Wow, therefore he's definitely qualified. What could go wrong? Well, I am certainly grateful that you made the decision to select me as your speaker, especially considering my successful history with so many other events. Um, um, uh, um, uh, um, <laughs> it's really cool. Um, and they, uh, Custer came to us, and then we were like, so we were like, um, and you're like, um, then we were like, wow, and we were like, um, 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 because college graduates don't just earn more than a million dollars more over the course of their lifetime. Instead of just reading about something or hearing about it, you can experience it in a way that really might not even be possible in reality. So as you can see, I'm very qualified. I know what you're wondering. 
how did this guy that you're talking to become the student speaker? Well, while I definitely don't have an answer for that, let me take a minute to just tell you how I got here. I grew up in a super tiny town called Hagerman, Idaho. If you know where that is, congratulations. You can pat yourself on the back along with that one other guy who knows where that is. Now, while my graduating class had a whopping 25 people, my early life was pretty far from uneventful. And while many of those events back then seemed like they were massive obstacles on my journey here, every single time life somehow found a way to keep moving forward. So when third grade hit and I started having seizures, sure enough, I just kept chugging along. When I was diagnosed with a brain tumor in middle school, I had brain surgery and once again, life moved on. And when doctors found the tumor wasn't completely gone, I just had another brain surgery and you guessed it, life just kept going. With this sort of roller coaster of a childhood, I realized pretty quickly that whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. So I might as well just live my best life for the people who aren't fortunate enough to live theirs. And whenever the opportunity comes up to help somebody else in that same goal, you take it. Because honestly, between you and me, that's the only way we're able to live our best life anyway. So might as well do it. So fast forwarding a little bit in that same pursuit of living my best life, I came to Boise State. Now, don't get me wrong, I had some fun in my first couple of years. Played some intramurals, started a club golf program, joined a multi-level marketing scheme. You know, the usual college experience. But I'd have to say that my junior year is probably when I started really seeing the impact that one person can have on a community. I'd started seeing like Megan Lacey creating devices to help keep emergency workers safe. Ali Ostrander speaking out against body shaming. Ari Wiedemeyer actually <laughs> pushing for sustainability in a world that doesn't truly realize its value yet. And Olivia Thomas inspiring young girls and boys for that matter, that STEM isn't a field that should be dominated by men. When I started looking at these people that proved that there really are no barriers to simply trying your best and seeing what happens, I began to see my own involvement grow as well. The stale project myself and a couple other students who were working on suddenly seemed to sprout new life. That same project, now called Bronco Beam, has now helped hundreds of students have obtain food while also reducing food excess on campus. After looking at these amazing students and so many more, I finally broke my mindset of thinking I can't do something and applied for my dream job as an intern at NASA. And sure enough, a couple months later, I actually somehow found myself at Johnson Space Center creating virtual reality simulations to help train astronauts. Did I make certain valuable people get dizzy in a VR headset and fall over? You know, that's, that's neither here nor there. But seeing the impact firsthand that a simple mindset can have on a person's life, like mine was through my internship, I joined the NASA Suits program to help share that vision. Through the Suits program, I started going to elementary schools to show kids that chasing your dream can really be as fun as playing Fortnite. I think. Okay, honestly though, between you and me, the way some of them started dancing whenever I mentioned the game kind of keeps me up at night. Yeah. I wanna take a minute to acknowledge those that made it possible for myself and the rest of the Broncos class of 2020 to be here today. Well, I guess when you really think about it, that's probably in bed, switching between this graduation speech and, well, probably Tiger King, I guess. Yeah, Carol did it. Yeah. Let's see, where, where were we? Um, oh, that's right, acknowledgements. So, First of all, this is to the professors. Thank you for teaching us not only technical knowledge, but the knowledge required to persevere and learn how to overcome any obstacle, no matter how difficult those obstacles may be. Thank you to the supporting staff and faculty who had to make massive sacrifices to make sure that not only as students, but as individuals, we have what is necessary to create a successful foundation for our future. Thank you to the Boise community 
for creating an environment which I fully believe is one of the best areas in the nation to be able to go outside and know that whoever you talk to will be a genuinely caring person. And while everything I've said so far has held true throughout my time here, the recent events regarding COVID-19 have proven just how far these groups are willing to go to ensure the safety and well-being of myself and the rest of the community. It's truly remarkable the sacrifice you all have made. Don't think it hasn't gone unnoticed by us students. But most important of all are my parents, friends, and family, and the friends and families of everyone else graduating here today. I think I can speak for everyone at home that even if you're not directly related to one of these graduates, know that the opportunities you've created for us are the reason we're here today. So thank you from all of us. Now, when I was finishing this story and thinking about how I wanted to end it, I was debating between a short story of grit and determination by one of my idols at NASA, or a similarly valiant story of the college test known as door-to-door -door sales. I know, both very equal topics. But for some reason, my speech advisors pushed me towards the NASA route. I know, it doesn't seem as exciting as an annual contract for pest control that we can get done literally at, at half the cost while my truck is, while my truck is down the road. Okay, yeah, I, uh, I can see what they mean. Oh, I'll just get to the story. So, on July 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 flight director Gene Kranz led NASA mission control in successfully landing the first man on the surface of the moon. Well, I wasn't around during this period. I vividly remember the first time I heard of Gene's massive part in a mission that paved the way for the rest of humanity. For a young boy in a tiny farm town in Hagerman, Idaho, I was like, wow, I want to be like that guy. That spark, combined with just a little faith, eventually brought me to this past summer where I interned for NASA down in Texas. Well, there, a fellow intern and friend of mine who goes by Ty Chris had the incredible privilege of not only meeting the great Gene Kranz during the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, but was actually able to sit down and talk one on one with Gene for multiple hours. While they talked, they discussed countless things, things such as favorite memory funniest stories, and the list goes on. But when my friend was telling the story back to me, there was one memory that stood out. One memory that's implanted in the back of my mind during every project I take part in. My friend asked me, when you're getting ready for something as monumental as going to the moon and doing something that nobody in the history of humankind has done before. How do you even begin to approach such an enormous task? And I'll never forget what Gene said. He said, we need to recognize that the greatest error is not to have tried and failed, but that in trying, we did not give it our best effort. class of 2020, as well as everyone watching who are each in different places in your own lives, always remember that when you leave this journey and move on to your next, reserve a small space in the back of your head for knowing that if we don't reserve everything we have to our goals, be it career goals, relationship goals, and the goal to create a better world for those who follow us, we will never land our own proverbial man on the moon. Class of 2020, I have full confidence that we'll come out of this roller coaster with the experience to create an even greater impact in the world around us. Thank you, Boise State, for allowing this small town Idahoan to take one giant leap.
A doctoral degree constitutes the highest achievement that a student can attain in the academic world. And thus, while the degree symbolizes the culmination of an individual's life as a student, it does not mean the end of learning. To the contrary, one who receives a doctoral degree bears a special responsibility to cultivate and disseminate learning through one's chosen field of endeavor. Yesterday morning, we celebrated our spring 2020 doctoral graduates with a special Zoom ceremony featuring their deans and their faculty advisors. This tremendous class of 40 doctoral students included 14 doctorates of education in educational technology and curriculum and instruction, seven doctorates of nursing practice, and 19 PhD recipients across eight academic programs, including five in electrical and computer engineering, four in biomolecular sciences, four in geophysics, three in computing, three in material sciences and engineering, two in geosciences, two in public policy and administration, and our very first doctoral graduate in counselor education. In addition, 20 students earned educational specialist degrees, an incredible number of students earned their master's degrees across the academic spectrum. Congratulations to each one of our master's and doctoral's graduates. All of us here at Boise State are proud of this group of hardworking scholars, leaders, and researchers. We are excited to see the great things that you will do next, and we know you'll make a difference in this world. Today, we honor 2,785 students eligible for graduation, qualifying for 3,232 degrees or certificates. 785 of you are completing your programs with honors. 85, summa cum laude, with highest honors, graduating with a grade point average of 3.95 or higher. 311, magna cum laude, with high honors, graduating with a grade point average between 3.75 and 3.94, and 389 cum laude with honors, graduating with a grade point average between 3.5 and 3.74. It is my pleasure to present the candidates who have met the degree requirements and who have been recommended by the faculty for graduation. Hello everyone, my name is Fabi Halla and I'm a biology major from right here in Boise, Idaho. I am proud to present the 776 students who are eligible for a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate's degree through the College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations, everyone, and I wish you guys all the best in the future. Thank you, Fabio. And congratulations, College of Arts and Sciences Class of 2020. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to share this important milestone with you. I am so proud of each and every one of you for the things you've accomplished and the people you've become. I'd like to say a special congratulations to our two top 10 scholars, Austin Lamb and George Zakist. The skills you've honed, the experiences you've had, and the perspectives you've gained prepare you for a bright future. You will represent the college and the university well as you blaze new trails on the next phase of your adventure. Wherever your path takes you, please know the College of Arts and Sciences is here to support you and to cheer you along the way. I'm excited to see what you accomplish next. Congratulations, Class of 2020, and go Broncos! Hello, Class of 2020. My name is Holly Bossert, and I am an Applied Math and Economics major from Boise, Idaho. I am so, so proud to announce the 514 students that are eligible for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees here in the College of Business and Economics. I am so, so proud of all of us, and I am so thankful that this semester is over. And of course, go Broncos. I'm Mark Bannister, Dean of the College of Business and Economics. I want to thank our student marshal, Holly Bossert, and I want to congratulate each and every one of you on this very special day. We are in a time of uncertainty, but I believe that we will move through this. There will be times of opportunity ahead, and that your skills, knowledge, and ability will be very much valued. If Boise State University can ever help you on life's way, don't hesitate to ask. We are so very proud of you. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Sarah Laney. 
I am an elementary education major with an endorsement in literacy from Boise, Idaho. I am proud to present the 220 students eligible for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in the College of Education. I am so proud of myself and my fellow graduates for all the hard work we have put in to earn our degrees. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Sarah. Congratulations, class of 2020. The College of Education is so proud of your perseverance, flexibility, and responsiveness. We look forward to working together as we all partner to make education systems and the world a better, stronger, hopeful, joyful place. Be well, be strong, be our partners in education. Go Broncos! Hello class of 2020. My name is Tyler French and I'm a computer science major from Tualatin, Oregon. I'm proud to present the 286 students eligible for bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctoral degrees in the College of Engineering. Thank you to our College of Engineering student marshal, Tyler French. Congratulations to you, Tyler, and to all of our 286 graduates. My heartfelt congratulations to all of you for this stellar achievement. Certainly the class of 2020 will be known for their resilience and agility in navigating our current environment, which requires even this ceremony to be virtual. Thank you for your commitment and hard work. I would especially like to recognize our four top 10 scholars for their outstanding academic achievement. Tonglin Tanya Liu, Electrical Engineering. Daniele Mora, Computer Science. Kendra Nonaman, Materials Science and Engineering. And Kaylee Novick, Mechanical Engineering. I would also like to congratulate our undergraduate research scholars and our engineering ambassadors who for the first time will be wearing cords to celebrate their work. Graduates, my best wishes for your future endeavors. Stay in touch, stay healthy, and go Broncos. Hello class of 2020. My name is Libby Smith and I am a health science major from Corvallis, Oregon. I am proud to present the 712 students who are eligible for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in the College of Health Sciences. Happy graduation. Thank you, Libby Smith, for being the College of Health Sciences student marshal. I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate Erica Corbel. Erica is a top 10 scholar at Boise State University. This is my opportunity to send out a heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates in the College of Health Sciences. I think now we can see more than ever the importance of our health and well-being and the value that you will bring to be a caregiver in the years to come. This is quite a milestone and I just want to congratulate all of you in this significant achievement. Hello class of 2020. My name is Chris Ross and I'm a Games Interactive Media and Mobile Technology major from Meridian, Idaho. I'm proud to present the 34 students who are eligible for a bachelor's degree from the College of Innovation and Design. Thank you, Christopher. I'm Gordon Jones, Dean of the College of Innovation and Design, and I want to offer my congratulations to you, the graduates of Boise State in the spring of 2020. I do want to call out a special congratulations to Tyler Chapman, a top 10 scholar from the College of Innovation and Design. Congratulations, Tyler, on all your great work. It's been a pleasure to know you. To the graduates overall, congrats. You're stepping into the world at an amazing time. It's a time you're gonna remember for the rest of your life. I hope that you bring your best selves and the best of Boise State as you go make a difference in the world. So when the time is right, I'd like to see you take off your hat in your home, wherever you are, and throw it in the air, and a huge congratulations. 
Hello class of 2020, my name is Morgan Bremen. I'm an environmental studies major originally from Loomis, California. I'm so proud to present the 185 students eligible for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees from the School of Public Service. I can't wait to see what we do. Boise State grads, you did it. Congratulations. A quick shout out, thank you to the School of Public Service student marshal, Morgan Bremen. Thank you, Morgan, and congratulations. And my best to the seniors in the School of Public Service whose hard work, dedication, and perseverance have really equipped you to be relevant and innovative leaders in your next chapter. A special shout out to the School of Public Service top 10 scholars, Emily Pape, Savannah Willits, and Arts and Sciences Austin Lamb, who is a political science double major. Congrats to all our Boise State grads today as we celebrate with you from all of us at the School of Public Service. Hi, I'm Rick Stacy, president of the Boise State Alumni Association and graduate of the class of 2000. I'm excited to be one of the first to congratulate each of you as part of the graduating class of 2020. I am also here to remind you that your relationship with Boise State University is far from over. As an alumnus, you are now part of the Bronco family for life. This year, for the very first time, we are giving each person in your graduating class a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. I look forward to seeing each of you at our alumni tailgate parties, homecoming events, the annual barbecue, and other alumni events throughout the year. I also hope that you will take advantage of the Bronco Alumni Network as you move forward with your careers. Congratulations, take pride in your accomplishments, and welcome to the Boise State Alumni Association. Go Broncos! Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome to the Boise State Alumni Association, where we are proud Broncos for life. Congratulations, class of 2020, from the Latino Alumni Chapter. Welcome to Boise State Alumni Association. Somos Broncos. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome to the Alumni Association. I want to thank the Meister Singers and their director, Professor Michael Porter, for that beautiful rendition of a song that should have new meaning for all of you as a symbol of your hard work and dedication and our commitment to you that goes far beyond your time here as an undergrad. The tradition of Boise State's alma mater reaches its 80th anniversary this year, and you and your peers performed it in an entirely new way a way that it has never been performed at a commencement. This feels representative of the unique experience that you in the class of 2020 have had.
These milestones are different for you than they have been for any other Boise State graduating class. Indeed, sometimes the changes might feel like too much, too disrupted, too taxing, too overwhelming. Time has bent in strange ways during this period of our isolation. Our days sometimes seem like weeks, our weeks like minutes. There have been special stressors for you and your class that are unlike any other, and the gap between those trapeze bars, it looks long. Moving on to the next phase can be hard, and sometimes people don't do it. It is, after all, possible to maintain your grip on that trapeze bar and swing back and forth, even in this strange moment, staying where you are and with what you already know. But you have already shown that you have the courage to bring your life to the next level. Courage isn't being unafraid. It's moving ahead even when you are frightened. Forest Church says, Fear is a wall miles wide and miles high, but only an inch thick. Today, I want to challenge you to keep going, to keep growing, to take on the next challenge and the next one, just like you did with the completion of your degree. You, this resilient, remarkable, adaptable, creative, innovative, courageous class of 2020, I want to tell you that if anyone is going to change the world, it will be you. I want to encourage you to let go of the trapeze bar and fly. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Boise State University and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I hereby confer upon you the appropriate doctoral, education specialist, master's, bachelor's, and associate degrees with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. All graduates receiving a baccalaureate degree or associate's degree, please move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left, signifying the completion of your graduation. Congratulations, graduates. All right, Blue Thunder, here we go. Set. Hi, Boise State. I wish to congratulate you on your great achievement for graduating this spring 2020. I wish you the best, and I hope that through these challenging times, you succeed in everything that you do. Best of luck. Hello, and congratulations from the library. You did it. All your hard work has paid off. Well done. Congratulations, class of 2020. Some may say that college years are the best years of your life. However, in my experience, the best years are yet to come. I'm still very proud to share this day with you. 
Congratulations on your achievements. First of all, congratulations to all of our graduating Broncos. It's a really big day. Uh, you've, done a, you've done a lot of hard work to get here. Uh, I hope that you learned as much from your time at Boise State as we learned working with you and trying to prepare you for the future. It's been a real honor and a pleasure to work with you and we wish you the best as you go forward. I'm pleased to congratulate the graduates, including my son for 2020 from Boise State University. Way to go guys. You're off into who knows what future, but we're counting on you. Congratulations to you all, our next generation of teachers. Remember, every student in that classroom is somebody's everything. Onward and upward. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you. We know this is an important milestone in your life and no pandemic can take that from you. You got here through tenacity and passion and you will get through this with those same skills. I couldn't be more excited for you to go out into the world and start applying the skills and the critical thinking that you have developed here. Go out, bring people together and do great innovative work. We can't wait to see all that you do. Hey there, spring 2020 graduates. Uh, just wanted to say congratulations for reaching this really amazing milestone, particularly during such a difficult time for everybody. This is a huge accomplishment. Uh, you've been able to do so much in such a short amount of time. And we're so grateful that you were able to join us at BSU uh, for, for however long you were you were here and we just wish you the best possible luck in all your future endeavors and careers. And uh, we're, we're so grateful that in a lot of ways, you'll always be part of the BSU family. So thank you and congratulations. In Measure for Measure, William Shakespeare wrote, our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. Class of 2020, you are surely having doubts. You are graduating at a strange and uncertain time. But just in the last few months, you have shown resiliency, adaptability, and the determination to achieve your goals against great odds. Go forward knowing that you have this inside you and don't be afraid to attempt. Good morning, certificate, masters, and doctoral students. My name is Scott Lowe, and I'm the Associate Dean in the Graduate College. On behalf of the graduate faculty at Boise State University, the staff here in the Graduate College, and the Graduate College leadership, I'd like to congratulate you on these wonderful accomplishments and wish you wonderful things as you move forward into the world. Go Broncos. Greetings students and everybody graduating. I just want to wish you all the best. You can all achieve more than you can dream right now. I know it's a difficult time and I believe in you. I cannot wait to find out what you do with your one singular path. Thank you so much for being a part of my life at Boise State. I appreciate you. I'm gonna read a little something from Beckett. Keep going, going on, call that going call that on. Congratulations, graduates. Well, the unimaginable has happened. I know these times are hard, but I urge you to embrace what the world is going through. The seemingly impossible has occurred, and that shows you that the impossible can and does happen. Everything that we have come to accept as normal is actually up in the air. Environmental and work conditions, consumerism and health, homelessness and incarceration, to name just a few. Right now, more than ever, we need the power of unafraid imaginations and improvisation. The world calls hungrily for your creativity, optimism, energy, critical thinking, and camaraderie. Amidst all the devastation of this crisis, look at the incredible people doing amazing things, freely giving of themselves. Get inspired and go out there and help make a solid future 
for humanity. Thank you and congratulations again. Congratulations to the accounting graduates of 2020. Remember, it's still a great day to be an accountant and go Broncos. It's been an amazing learning adventure, not without its challenges, but you took them in stride, nimble and responsive, because you are Broncos. Thank you for sharing your learning with us and congratulations class of 2020 on all of your accomplishments. Go Broncos. Hey there, uh, greetings from the respiratory care department. Dr. Joe Coyle here, and I just want to give a shout out to all you graduating Broncos. It's been so awesome to work with you over these years. We're so proud of you all. Um, in particular, I want to give a special shout out to our respiratory uh, graduates. Uh, what a great group of people. You're going to be fantastic respiratory care professionals, and we all look forward to seeing all the wonderful things you're going to do in the care of our patients here in, in the Valley and around the country. Uh, we'll look forward to following your careers, and as you graduate with uh, the, your loved ones and family at home, uh, please know that we are thinking about you and rooting for you and looking forward to all the great stuff you're going to do. Take care and go Bronchi! Congrats 2020 graduates. This is an amazing achievement. Take time to celebrate all you've accomplished on the path to your degree. We look forward to seeing what you continue to do and what you go on to achieve now that you've completed this stage. We wish you the best, stay in touch, and keep us updated. Congrats and go Broncos! Liebe Grüße aus Deutschland. Hello from Germany. Go, go Broncos. Broncos! Congratulations, new graduates! With the degrees that you have earned and the knowledge and skills that you have developed, as part of your term at Boise State. You are uniquely qualified to change the world that we live in. You can do whatever you want and I encourage you to pursue your passions. You can make huge advances in the health sciences, tackling some of the biggest crises of our time. You can tackle climate change problems. You can help make a difference in this world. And that is all up to you. So congratulations to you. This is a great and exciting point in your life and I wish you the best of luck in your next steps forward. Hello Bronco class of 2020. Congrats on earning your degrees. We can't have a traditional commencement ceremony this year, but that in no way detracts from or stops us from celebrating your tremendous achievements. We are proud of you and know that you will continue to make us proud in the years ahead. Now more than ever, the world needs the knowledge and skills you've developed here at Boise State. Best wishes and congratulations. Future teachers, congratulations. Your dedication, your resilience, and your innovation give us hope and inspire us. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, graduates. I wish that we could be together today to celebrate this accomplishment. When you began college, you probably thought it was going to be challenging, but I'm sure you didn't imagine that this is how it was going to be ending for you. It has taken a lot of dedication and determination for you to make it this far, and you should feel very proud of yourselves, especially given the circumstances under which you are having to finish everything up. So congratulations on what you have accomplished and I can't wait to see what comes next. Congratulations class of 2020. Whatever your next step may be, remember, you're a Bronco for life. To the class of 2020, um, congratulations. You are, you're graduating at a, at a unique point in history. Um, I wish I could be there to, to, to celebrate this monumental achievement with you. Um, though we aren't you know, having the, the normal graduation ceremony, um, know that all the faculty at, at Boise State, myself included, are, are so happy for you. Um, I'm so, so incredibly proud of, of your resilience and your determination during your time at Boise State, um, and especially in the last, the last couple of months. 
Um, I wish you all you know, nothing but the best in your future endeavors, uh, wherever those may take you. Um, so again, congratulations and go Broncos. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have accomplished great things. There's no limit to what you can do if you keep believing in yourself. Today will be only the first of many proud, successful moments for you. Well done, you did it. Congratulations and way to go. Brains, heart, and now a diploma from Boise State University. This calls for a celebration. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates and especially cohort 13. I'm so proud of you and I look forward to your future endeavors. It is now more than ever that we need your creativity and your virtuosity and your inspiration in the days ahead. So I hope that this very unique celebration will be a reminder to each of you about how special and unique you are. Um, you guys did it, congratulations and go Broncos. Congratulations, graduates. The past few weeks are equivalent to dog years, or should we say, Zoom years. You have experienced the power of the world which embraced digital togetherness to enhance human connections. You have seen the outpouring of compassion to serve our community. We have experienced various magnitudes of loss during these turbulent times. However, you can help us create a world where every human is valued, their contributions cherished, their lives celebrated. This is a watershed moment that will redefine what it means to be human. Human who loves, shares, gives. The pain is real, but our passion for humankind is immense. You, your faculty, staff and administrators, while navigating these turbulent and uncertain times have been resilient. There is probably and I hope never going to be another moment in our lifetimes where we struggle to carry on with our lives. But this is what I hope your education has prepared you to solve wicked world problems, to enhance human dignity and to serve humanity. Today, let us celebrate you for going the extra mile. Celebrate your family and friends who helped you achieve your dreams. Keep going, keep growing. Go Broncos! Hello everyone. I wanted to say congratulations to you today on this very special day. You've worked very hard and deserve to celebrate. We wish we could celebrate with you face to face. Unfortunately, the current situation won't allow it. So we're celebrating with you from a distance. I think I speak for the faculty when I say we are all so proud of your accomplishments and proud to call you a graduate of our program. We look forward to working with you as a colleague now and hopefully to hearing from you from time to time about your life changes and your successes as you progress in your career. Please know you are in our thoughts. Congratulations and go Broncos! Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so excited for you and we wish that we could all be there with you. I hope that you're able to celebrate with your friends and family at least a little bit in quarantine and maybe we'll see you at the graduation ceremony in December. Congratulations. Congratulations for your hard work. And I know that as you venture out that there's many people cheering for you and we're proud of all that you've accomplished. Hello graduates, congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. Go Broncos! To the graduates, um, it's a beautiful spring day as springs in Boise always are, but today is your graduation day and I love commencement, especially after the spring semester. You've been through a lot in the past few years, no matter what degree you've completed. This is a meaningful time for me because I've completing, I'm completing my fourth year 
which is my eighth semester as a member of the computer science faculty at Boise State. So I've been here as long as many of you who are graduating, and I've been able to work with some of you in my research group, I have some of you in some of my classes, and I'm always impressed with how much effort Boise State students put into their studies and learning. Um, the degree you've learned, have earned, will open doors and forms a foundation upon which you can build and find your contribution in the world. I hope you find ways to accept new responsibilities, whether you have a full-time job lined up or you're still looking, or you are looking towards a graduate's, graduate degree. Whatever you choose to do next, take a moment and reflect on the work that you put into your degree and you've, er you've earned this day. Your parents, families, and other supporters have also earned this day. And your future is bright. Best wishes and congratulations. Continue with your hard work. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I am so in awe of you and your accomplishments uh, and want to encourage each of you to see Boise State as your friend for life. The professors you connected with, the staff that assisted you, the librarians that were always there for you. Please know we are uh, behind you. We're here to support your future endeavors. And please um, let us know how you're doing uh, and circle back. But in the meantime, congratulations and celebrate the day. Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I know this probably isn't how you hope to celebrate your graduation, but please don't let that take away from all of your hard work at Boise State. You should be proud of all you've achieved. So best of luck to all of you in the future and a special shout out to all of you graduates in criminal justice. Folks, before we head off into the wild blue yonder, I'd like to ask you to join me in reflecting on and celebrating what you've accomplished while you've been at Boise State. Uh, the folks I've been lucky enough to work with have brought their unique experiences, their wisdom and their wit to our shared challenges. Uh, and if we didn't always leave with solutions, we always left thinking more richly. I'm pretty sure my experiences are not unique. All of you have dealt with challenges and enriched your lives and the lives of those you've worked with as a result. So remember, as you head out into an uncertain world, you have skills, experience, and wisdom to work with that uncertainty. Let me also ask you a flavor. Please stay in touch, working with you on your problems, learning from your successes, and just hearing what you've been up to will make Boise State a better place. And might even be fun for you. That's it. The best of good luck to you all in all that you do. And to each and every one of you, you're awesome. Go and show the world. Thank you. Cheers. might be pretty obvious from looking at my picture on this video, but I am pre-selfie generation. So you're gonna just have to tolerate this one, even though it's probably not the best one you're gonna see. Congratulations on your great accomplishment. Most people in the world don't have a bachelor's degree, even in the developed world, way less than half of the uh, adult population has a bachelor's degree, so that puts you in some pretty elite uh, company, and I, I know that you'll use your powers for good. Congratulations, class of 2020. A brand new chapter. Go, Broncos! Congratulations on your many outstanding accomplishments. I'm so excited to see what y'all will accomplish. Best of luck in all of your future endeavors. It is such an honor to be able to tell you congratulations on your graduation from Boise State University. We in the Department of Radiologic Sciences are so excited for you and just want to extend our congratulations on achieving and completing your degree. I hope that you and your family are able to fully appreciate the accomplishment of completing this degree and able to celebrate with you today on the magnificent joy of being done. So congratulations again from the Department of Radiologic Sciences. And I hope that you in the future but won't ever be afraid to just say yes. Whenever life presents you with something that's challenging, 
something that seems really exciting, but maybe you feel like you just don't have the time, just say yes. Just like you did with completing your degree and being finished, I am sure you're so excited and we are so proud of you. So again, congratulations and enjoy today. No matter what it takes for you and your family, where this leads you, congratulations. We're really proud of you and go Broncos. Hey Broncos, congratulations on your graduation. I am so honored to be with you today as we celebrate you. My best to the graduating class of 2020 and best wishes for your continued success in your next chapter from all of us at the School of Public Service. Go Broncos! Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of all of you for being here today, having completed your degree programs. That is something to be truly proud of, just as any graduating class before you. This is a time uh, of celebration and a time to be proud of your achievements. So well done. Um, in visual art in my home area, one um, of the most challenging things about graduating is um, that it can represent this change in resources that are available to you. So you can go from um, having the support of this large university community to um, having resources available to you that you secure yourself um, individually. So that can be a big change and it can be challenging. You have all had a very unique experience of receiving a crash course in how to contend with that change in advance while simultaneously finishing your degrees. And that is very impressive. I have no doubt that more than any graduating class before you, you have the strength and resilience from that that you are ready to get out there into the world and pursue your careers or further education and you have the ability to do that better than any graduating class before you. Um, I also am confident that you are the toughest graduating class yet. So I want to well wish all of you a big heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations. Well, graduates of 2020, yes, you are pretty unique and it's not just the circumstances. To borrow an image from the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, you are our letter. And so as you head out into your, whether it's new careers or advances in your current careers, whatever you do, you represent Boise State and we're proud to have you be so. And so be a good graduate, be a great alumni, take care and keep in touch. Hi everybody, congratulations, you guys made it. 2020 Masters in Arts of Counseling graduating class. Wow, it's been quite a road and quite a last month, but here you are. I sincerely hope the very best for each of you and hope that you make a tremendous difference and change the lives of many students and many clients for years to go. Good job, guys. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Nobody can ever take away what you have accomplished. You should be very proud of yourself. And remember, just because your formal schooling has ended, the learning has just begun. Congratulations and go Broncos.